world, there is a group of heavenly beings called Apsaras, who often aid Indra in his testing of the sages, particularly the male sages, although it happens to the women. There's another group of beings who test the women sages. Those Apsaras are beautiful female forms. One famous Apsara called Urvashi has appeared in a beautiful form to many of the ascetics over the millennia to test their concentration, to see if she can distract them from the meditations. Many sages have failed their this test. This time, with Indra's consent, she decided to come to Earth to experience earthly pleasures and to test one of the chieftains, Paravana, of the lunar tribes. As soon as he saw Urvashi, he fell in love, and they married. After four years of happily married life, she realized that earthly pleasures were not nearly as fulfilling as the joys of the celestial world, and so she decided to return to her world. She'd had enough. Paravana was distraught and pleaded with her to stay, but she was indifferent to his pleas, and undeterred in her determination, she returned to the celestial world. He cried that he would lose his mind and die without her, but she was unperturbed. What was he to do? She works on behalf of Indradev, who represents the luminous mind, helping humanity reach that state. He wanted Paravana to grow in his potential, to advance in spiritual understanding, to attain the light-filled mind that exists within us all, not the lower mind hankering after sense fulfillment. The only way Paravana could unite with his beloved Urvashi was to reach for the higher place where she resided. She had come to him, had descended to him. Now he had to, to, to ascend to her. And I think these stories of the mating is often for that purpose. The, the higher beings come down to show what our potential is. And then they go back to the world, leaving us hankering for that higher energy. She had lowered herself into his world. Now he had to reach into hers. But to expand into that higher celestial realm, one has to undergo spiritual training. It doesn't happen without that. Subdue the lower mind with its desires and elevate the higher qualities. This is what he set out to do. His concentration was one-pointed. He wanted to reunite with his beloved. After a long time, he was able to attain complete control over his mind, subdue his sense desires, reach that elevated state, and enter the celestial realms. But in the process, his desires changed. He no longer sought marital happiness, but rather the bliss of his true self. His beloved wife had helped him achieve this. This is one of the great love stories of the Vedas, but it is difficult to understand its deeper meaning. Some say Urvashi represents the dawn, and Paravana represents the sun, and this is a love story between the sun and the dawn. 